Walter Mondale's vice presidential employment office opened for job interviews this morning on the driveway of his suburban Minneapolis home. Senator Lloyd Benson and his wife answered the help wanted invitation after months of speculation about his prospects for the number two job. Benson's resume should list as his chief qualification philosophical and geographical ticket balancer. The 13 year veteran of the U.S. Senate has strong conservative ties to business in contrast to Mondale's partnership with labor. Geographically, Benson delivers votes. Conventional political wisdom says Mondale needs Texas 29 electoral votes and a Southern running mate to win. But a Mondale-Benson ticket would make strange political bedfellows. In 1981, Benson voted for both the Reagan tax cuts criticized by Mondale. Benson supports the MX missile. Mondale opposes it. Benson wants the B-1 bomber built. Mondale would scrap it. Mondale favors domestic content legislation requiring U.S. parts and labor for imported cars. Benson objects. Mondale advocates a nuclear freeze. Benson does not. After a two and a half hour meeting, candidate Mondale concluded the pair could bridge the issue gap. I think strength is brought to an administration that hears differing points of view. If I respect somebody enough to consider him for vice president, I wouldn't respect them if they changed their attitude towards something they strongly believe in. Uh, and so I'm not looking for an homogenized ticket. But would Benson settle for the number two job? He glumly recalls Lyndon Johnson's unhappiness with the vice presidency. I don't want the job if it's just to be pomp and ceremony. I want no part of it. Uh, I'm the kind of a fellow that would rather go out and play Sandlot baseball than to go watch a World Series. I'm going to be involved. Despite their political differences, former Vice President Mondale says he shares a lot of common ground with Benson. Both attack the Reagan administration's tallies of deficits. Senator Benson enjoys the vice presidential speculation, but has said he doubts his chances. Pressures exist to select a woman or minority as a running mate. And now it appears a proven Democratic vote-getter, Gary Hart, may be warming up to the idea of accepting the number two job if it's offered. Robert Riggs, Channel 8 News, North Oaks, Minnesota.